let's do this thing. Hopefully we won't get throttled. Um, I wanted to talk about um, risk society and COVID itself. A um, lot of data. I'm culling from um, some late modern, I don't want to use the word postmodern, late modern, um, how do I put it, language philosophers, continental language philosophers, um, such as Baudrillard, um, Ulrich Beck, and Anthony Giddens, sort of, we could think they're saying the same things about modernity, except not with this notion of, of semiotics. Um, semiocapitalism is a term by Birardi to talk about kind of these rabbit holes we fall in to understand our world. Um, Ulrich Beck, I guess, will be a focus. So will Baudrillard in talking about taking our materialist world, a, uh, uh, an acceptance of agency in a materialist world out of 19th century Marx, uh, Hegel, uh, into the sociologists of the late 19th century, Weber, Freud, um, just, let's just call it speculation. Speculation that kind of begged the, the numbers, the empirical numbers, but these things are wonderful to understand just the ambiguity of it all. So risks, risk society of Ulrich Beck, um, who died in... 2015, we're looking at COVID, many people through his idea of risk society. He was, um, came to fame as a German sociologist with um, Zygmunt Bauman, with Anthony Giddens saying, okay, the so-called postmodern, nihilistic, cynical uh, project of signs flying everywhere is over. Let's get back to talking about modernity agency, um, what does an individual do within this? Modernity, upper left. Risk society, upper right. We can kind of understand our um, position of these uh, semi-capitalism, neoliberal capitalism, um, the exchange of screens, information on screens. We are who we buy. Hyper-consumerism through this chart. If modernity is the project, as we mentioned, of Rousseau, Kant, and Adam Smith, um, French, German, and English, European projects, we can uh, start to see how this um, fits into a larger picture of disaster. Chernobyl was covered by Ulrich Beck in the mid-80s, um, and certainly they were digging up the, the idea of risk society from Ulrich Beck during COVID, uh, what bulwarks do we have against this? Uh, modernity, the, the contrasting force is governmentality, um, finding justice, uh, achieving justice, law, um, equal distribution of um, aid to people suffering, as we saw in unemployment under COVID. Um, the sort of contrast, if we have um, uh, extend, reverse, retrieve, obsolesce, um, uh, perhaps modernity of the screen, the internet has obsolesced governmentality, but um, neoliberalism as a retrieve force is countered with risk society. We cannot We've left an industrial society built on wealth into one of redistributing risk. Air pollution, for example, affects the very rich as well as the very poor in cities such as Beijing and so forth. What is pervasive risk? Um, certainly COVID has affected the, the wealthy as well as the, um, the poor. Um, to lesser, a greater or lesser extent, we saw, as we saw in the riots in Minneapolis. Um, but a risk society is coming out of the fact that we, uh, uh, global warming, rise of sea levels, uh, 
uh, pervasiveness of new viruses, nuclear meltdowns we saw in Fukushima. Uh, Beck was around to talk about this. Um, aspects of society that say to us, technology will not save us, that this is not an entire bulwark against death. I also want to talk about um, uh, Baudrillard's notion of symbolic exchange in death. Death is seen as a pathology, not part of nature. In a way, sort of in a binary, the idea that pregnancy is a pathology is has emerged and and certainly we see that in an avoidance, general avoidance of uh, our Western capitalist society avoiding death until it springs in a surprise-like fashion upon our lives. And it is no longer treated as in ancient societies as inevitable, an inevitable process. Therefore, we do not look to our are old or aged for advice. We, at one time, one looked at the mad, the mentally ill in terms of insight, and certainly the ill, the uh, look to them uh, for insight. Let's go onward. Value exchange, value use, value, right out of Aristotle. Value out of Marx is um, a production of, of labor theory of value. The, because it both creates exchange value, see commercialization, speculation, and see use value, roof over the head, food on the table, air to breathe, someone to love. Um, we see these factors in their ancient configuration. Death is to be avoided and treat it as a pathology, as Baudrillard suggested. There's a social, there's a positive, and there's the dead, the non-social, the negative. The subject as a construction, as labor power, economic capital, and social capital. Um, labor capital can arise creating both social capital and economic capital. Uh, social capital is parenthood the biggest industry on the face of the earth. Um, what do the dead provide? The dead, the dead grandparents, the dead ancestors, and so forth? Nothing. They're seen as a non-social negative signifier. Therefore, it should be placed out of our landscape and thought of as less as possible. Therefore, the social, the positive, simply becomes the interplay between um, these forms of capital, labor, labor power, uh, economic exchange capital, social capital, use, and so forth. Um, there were times, Egyptian Book of the Dead, where um, the thought of death was pervasive within us. One imagines, as Baudrillard said, therefore perhaps they were able to live more in the use value of wonderful things such as dwelling, family, friends, sex, sex as expression, um, uh, perhaps even certainly pregnancy was seen as a difference in that it no longer, the vulnerable, and Foucault talks about this in another way, uh, about sequestering the vulnerable body, that um, the mad, the old, the dead, um, took on a function of showing us something of this new world, this other world, this world that is always there underpinning our concerted efforts in ritual, religion, sex, love, um, war, uh, uh, exchange, family, schooling, education, a greater sense of committedness. Um, so in this, on the right here, the subject, the social positive and the non-social negative death um, is confronted with a prohibition. We are not to talk about it. We're not to see it. We are to act as if this is a surprise coming out and disturbing the semio 
capitalism, the, the life of the screens, uh, an endless sense of dress rehearsals for something else um, interrupted by the negative value of, of death. Um, we have, therefore, within this getaways the other. Getaways, the mad, the old, the dead, but also peoples different from us, perhaps with a different uh, view of death. Certainly, so-called primitive people um, maintain this uh, realm of the prohibition, the, 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 the ill, the uh, person that does not follow the bell curve, the outliers, take on a getaway's other sensibility. The sign value through all of this, whether it's uh, $127 simple $2 t-shirt with Kanye West's fashion line, is that the sign value is supreme. Um, you should know about it, I know about it. Even coming out of the televised era into the internet world, we have memes that wake us up as to why that t-shirt by Kanye, Kanye West is worth $127. We have value, exchange value, use value. Labor value goes into it to buy that t-shirt. Um, disrupted subject in a Maximus P project, symbolic exchange and death. Um, it is not cultural pessimism. There are examples of a symbolic exchange still survive in contemporary society. Um, key, his key concepts is derived from his accounts of so-called primitive people, also Levi-Strauss. Uh, followed this in The Raw and the Cook. Baudrillard's work is essentially about the way in which contemporary society, the symbolic is replaced by the semiotic, um, shifting signs above, shifting screens, um, the behavioral modification to mediate everything with screens, as we saw in A Social Dilemma, that it's not just after your desire and your databases arising from your desire, it is after a subtle behavioral modification of your semiotic desire. What it can tweak you went to eBay, to dating sites, to Facebook over Instagram, leaving a beautiful food selfie on Instagram as opposed to a rant on Facebook. These are subtle indicators moving you subtly with AI, with uh, uh, proposed algorithms with each, and with the influencers and memes to, to control not just the symbolism between a nice house, a good t-shirt, a useful t-shirt, um, and your life, but to render a condition of faulty desire itself. Uh, symbolic exchange in death, let's move onward. Uh, Peter Berger, uh, we assume that, that understanding, significance, and meaning are created not within the individual, individual but within in the coordination with other human beings. Yes, human beings rationalize their experience. COVID, so how has COVID set a big reset button on this? Going back to risk society, we see this um, greater um, people give meaning or value to ideas or objects through social interaction. So it's all exterior. Uh, the influencers, the meme influencers, the, the sorry about this, um, the idea that all reality is mitigated on the screen. Um, Long-term memory, simulation, surface structure, short-term memory, the, and then over on the, the right, the, um, the world of social experience um, uh, conditions this. Back to risk society, risk and trust, the omnipresent of risk, the different understandings of risks, and the reflective orientation to risk. Assert, negate, non-negate, non-assert. There is risk and trust out there. Technology cannot 
always be the bulwark as it was during the beginning of modernity against pervasive risk culture as we saw um, certainly with this COVID, certainly with Fukushima, to which there was a um, uh, hundred meters up um, an ancient sign, maybe four or five hundred years old, above the Fukushima um, nuclear reactor on the shore. Please do not build anything lower than this sign. And um, that was technological information left as a marker in um, that society, totally ignored. Through perhaps the hubris of considering that technology will help us triumph over risk. Um, uh, as obverse against what we can do technologically, personally, with our agency, we have an omnipresence of risk. Okay, sorry, this one's getting a little, there we go. Um, there's vulnerability, there's hazard, there's threat, there's more vulnerability in the micro values of risk. Um, the subject is, is always mediating their movements through this. I make uh, calculations against risk usually in what other jobs I can work to bulwark against possible future risks in terms of money, moving, sickness, illness, death, accident, um, loss of jobs, so forth. With COVID as a sort of a giant tsunami rolling across all societies, all global societies, um, we bulwarked ourselves against risk. We looked to the government for bailout and um, it was there in the form of printed money. Um, farming, consumer side, uh, we get back to that notion that um, uh, cities have to eat. Cities have to be supplied with food since their inception 600,000 years, I mean 6,000 years earlier. On the internet, we do not have to eat. Um, these do not have to be supplied with anything, thus becoming the perfect instrument in semio capitalism, um, twisting and, and contorting our psychology of desire and desirability. But um, we, as corporeal agents, as Berardi said, need to exercise our analog desires, our analog both in terms of use value and exchange value. Um, the new consumerism is um, perhaps the millennial, the frugal invention, innovation, experience figures big, the gig economy, they're used to it. Um, in the lack of secure jobs, there are plenty of poster jobs, gig economy jobs, sharing economy, mixing cultural capital with what you share, uh, a, creating a space for life or living, the beautiful meal, the party, the, the, the beautiful lover, things that exist outside of a bigger modernist narrative of locking the agent into place. Um, you buy time, you buy time with work, but you take time. Another concept is that there are so many hours in the day. How can you buy more time? Um, trading up or trading down, we see that in choices of real estate to buy, to rent, to do whatever, and a circular being realizing that we live in a circular economy. Um, things such as Airbnb, the explosion of the vintage stores, recycling um, clothing, works, and this notion in fashion that it is extremely eclectic are symptoms of this. Um, circular hemisphere, humans are regenerating the biosphere, humans valorizing the technosphere. Those are the two things that um, 
are directly threatened in, in risk cultures. Um, cognitive effective social relations. Um, let's go further. Um, this is all on structures of, of risk. Um, contact with peer group, community mobilization, empowerment, collective power, self-efficiencies, um, STI testing. This is engaging in sexual relations, condom use, clients, regular partner, to avoid STIs, HIV, and pregnancy. Um, this is Ulrich Beck, a greater analysis of Ulrich Beck. Um, the Chernobyl script, a badly designed reactor, suffered a meltdown. A whistleblowing doctor suffered um, a media control of the perception of what actually happened. Um, uh, Z's China Trump's United States are a good match for the late Soviet Union. It doesn't mean that Chernobyl is not relevant to our COVID-19. These are societies that attempt to control the media spin, just like the Soviet Union, but are technophilic and assume that technology will overcome this. We saw the United States getting the early in line share of the uh, vaccinations in the world uh, to increase herd immunity, but still we live in um, a risk society. In a risk society, we become radically dependent upon uh, specialized scientific knowledge to find what it is and what is not dangerous. COVID is dangerous, more dangerous than other um, flus, viruses um, of the past. Was Where did it come from? What was the origin? There's great suspicion on the official stories, but once it's released, it does not matter about agency it must be controlled as a risk just like a nuclear meltdown there are no familiar liberal formulas for coping with the contemporary risk created by modern technological development where what how was it made created ingested how did it travel by airplane what is the risk effect to young middle age aged, and so forth. Knowledge comes not neatly packaged in the form of clearly recognizable truth, but in admixtures and amalgam amalgams. Very true. Um, a graveyard in Brazil of all those who died from COVID recently. Um, there's no modernist pervasive ideas uh, in a sinister way. The creation of the atomic bomb is two or three billion dollars uh, Manhattan Project and Oak Ridge Project and Los Alamos Project, secret hush hush. The Germans were working on it at a time, but it was pervasive. The the attempt for the weapon of death to end all death. Um, now, our technologies affect the entire globe. Global warming, rising sea levels, changing uh, air patterns can only be analyzed in terms of how the individual can bulwark against that pervasive. I'll work back. The Fukushima um, reactive plant. Um, when we lived in a class society, as Ulrich Beck said, another response to which we all become too familiar, the United States is retreating from the vertiginous world of self-reflective rationality. Why? Um, uh, how? Out of a class society, we collectivize into family classes, corporations um, with tradition. In a risk society, individualization, individualization plus reflexivity. Um, I'm here. I'm a professor. I can use Zoom. I chose to go in one day a week. Um, last year, before this time, a little bit, 1,200 people were dying a night. I went to the park. I bought my um, food stocks. Um, I did my work and saw my friends online. The analog body was put aside of a relationship, of friends, of meeting, and so forth. My drawing group, which used to be the gallery crawl group, happened online. Um, 
there was a transformation. Some things were happy transformations, some things were not in a happy transformation out of this. Um, we have uh, forms of inequality, social class position turned into social risk positions, gated neighborhoods, uh, the ability to bunkerize, the creation of a seed museum in northern Norway, it, just in case all these things go to hell. The um, number of people getting the vaccination early or even people who don't wish to get the vaccination. Um, distribu distribution of bads. How can you do this in a Fukushima tsunami? Question mark. How can you do this with pervasive COVID? How vulnerable the cities as this condensation of hyper risk compared to the country places to which people went. Um, strange. Uh, core conditions um, experienced personally in class society, risk society, you experience it in terms of hunger. Um, uh, you're avoiding hunger in a class based society, industrial society. Um, often to great extent, but often as in at least three billion people on Earth, hunger is pervasive still, it is the analog, but in a risk society for all classes, as demonstrated by the, um, by Beijing perhaps, the air pollution, um, we, they, East Asia lives in a fear of um, the conditions that cause illness and death out of air pollution, which is experienced by all stratus. Uh, class consciousness over risk consciousness, I found that very pervasive with my friends, colleagues, uh, intimates um, in New York, um, that the level of risk under COVID was brought down to the bare minimum, not leaving their apartments, binging on Netflix, creating um, an anti-analog uh, aspect to desire, uh, fulfilling desires on screens, uh, friends, communions, um, connections with family. There was a, a silver lining to that, but um, there was a large um, avoidance of uh, the the analog with the greater risk outside, elimination of risk. From this, we'll take over in the next section. Uh, this is lecture 36.